Welcome back everybody to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG and in this episode we've got a bunch of different things that we are going to work on. Um, we're uh, gearing up to move down south along the west coast to, to build our larger uh, factory. But there, there's some things that I want to do around here first. Kind of better organize some things, neaten stuff up, finish uh, at least uh, the majority of our build uh, of the building itself, and um, yeah, just kind of kind of clean things up and and get the place in in good condition, in tip top condition, if you will, uh, before we move. Um, so let's see if we look on the right hand side uh, I've got a list of things to do so let's get started first of all with milestones I have everything in here that I need for uh, basic steel production except for 150 rotors uh, but we should have uh, several of those yes we do let's just grab all of the rotors that I have at the moment and we'll control click them in here and let's move into the, the steel era. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. All right. So um, that has opened up for us steel beams and steel pipes and if we look at tier four we well actually I guess we're in tier four now how about that <clears throat> um, let's take a look and see what we want to do first so advanced steel is going to get us automated wiring uh, which we need for the um, the space elevator, sorry. I, I, my brain wanted to say space needle, but that's in Seattle. Uh, the space elevator. Uh, plus, um, we need this and I think the heavy modular frames in order to make our explorer. Um, so, yeah, we definitely want that. Oh, and the Mark II Miner, too, uh, which is, you know, twice as fast as the Mark I. Uh, this will give us batteries and these new power towers, which are, I believe are new to update 8. Uh, or at least they're new since update five when I last played and they're basically like huge you know power line towers uh, very cool this one has a tower on it um, hyper tubes uh, we'll definitely want to get those logistics mark three we definitely want to get that and this is the blueprint designer so this will be fun to work with and and try and figure out uh, how to do all of that so yeah that's what we have I think um, why don't we just i don't particularly want one of these over the other and this one in particular is going to require these encased industrial beams which we have to learn here so why don't we go ahead and just start with advanced steel production as our first one that we'll do and um we have everything we need for this except for 200 steel pipes which i can make in here but we need steel to actually actually do that okay I'm not planning on doing any steel production at all at this factory so steel production will start at our new factory all right so um so I think that's probably all we're gonna do right now for for milestones there we go all right I am um, I made a couple of changes to our coal setup and added another coal uh, uh, generator. So let's go take a quick look at those things. I also need to get on, uh, we need to catch our tractor when it comes back by again and I want to turn these little thingamadoodles off. <laughs> uh, so okay, what did I do here? I, I added another uh, coal generator so now we're we have a total uh, production of 375 megawatts because we were getting well uh, we, we were going over 300 and it was tapping into our bio generators and the idea behind the bio generators is that now a backup power so I don't want to actually use them unless uh, you know unless we have an emergency situation so we added that and then I also changed this belt to a mark II because um, now we need a total of 75 
coal per minute to uh, you know to keep all five of these guys supplied constantly. And so we had to change this to a Mark II belt um, and a Mark II lift so that it can trans, you know, transfer um, up to 120. So we, we made that change too. I, I think I forgot to hook this up last time too, so that's now connected. And uh, oh yeah, look at that. Our tractor is like, <laughs> it's like really keeping this thing stocked nicely. Cool, okay. So, oh, and yeah, the other thing is I, I activated the second coal mine back on, on the other end uh, over here because um, we, need, we now need uh, 75 coal per minute and the single uh, drill over there was only producing 60 per minute. Uh, so those are the changes that we made to the coal. And of course it's running 100% right now uh, going strong and we are doing well on power we have a total of 645 megawatts um, but we're producing from the coal 375 and and we still have some headroom uh, there so we're, we're doing good on power at the moment okay so let's head on back up here um, I added another been up here because this one was starting to fill up with biomass and you're probably done with leaves what about you are you yeah you're done now too okay so yeah we got a big old supply of biomass um and once this second one uh or once these are completely full uh, i probably won't make any more uh, biomass fuel unless we need to for some reason so that's done and then uh, I moved this guy over here and it's currently making more modular frames for us. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna clean, clean this mess up and, and tidy things up a, a bit. So um, let's go ahead and cross off our coal changes. We finished that. And we are now working on our temp productions. So, to get started with this process, um, I think we're going to just halt all temporary production uh, that we currently have going on. Let's just shut it all down and we're going to reset it up in a, in a little neater and more permanent fashion here. So all of this stuff, including this, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to move our uh, copper plate production upstairs too. Uh, so that is on the to-do list. So let's take this down. And uh, again, I just wanted to, you know, before we leave this factory, and, and we will, you know, we will come back, of course, because uh, we're still going to need product and stuff from this place. But our focus is going to move you know to the to the bigger factory that we're going to build for steel and stuff on the coast and i just wanted to leave this place in good working order uh, while we do that let's get rid of this too and this whole entire belt can now come down as well as this and that cleans all of that up um, we're going to move uh, some of this stuff around too just make a cup just kind of uh, basically the hub and some of this other thing I'm gonna I'm gonna move them back just a little bit further um, because we're gonna come out a little bit further with the main building there okay so let's take all of that down all of this and to be careful not to uh, take down stuff that I'm not intending to take down that is a bunch of stuff there, but we are out of room. So let's put just this extra basic stuff in here and we'll feed it into the sink. Um, that is completely full. We'll keep uh, maybe a couple of stacks of that with us for now. 
what's uh, what's in here? Oh wow, we're like completely full on cable, like all the way full. All right. Okay, that's cool. Nice problem to have. How are we doing on Crete? Okay, it's starting to, to fill up on this side. We'll keep two stacks of that. Now, um, I started to, I'm starting to save smart plating for the space elevator, so I'm no longer uh, feeding uh, the, that into here for now. Um, so let's do this. We're gonna move all of that upstairs. So let's, I'm like completely running out of space here. Let's just put all the smart plating in there for the moment. And I'm gonna also, I just got too much stuff in my inventory. So let's put some of those in there. Some of these, some of those. Oh, I got all these rotors. Yeah, right, okay. Some of that can go in there. It gives us a little bit of space to work work with here. All right, and then you take all of that, and you are loaded with with reinforced plates. Um, okay, let's put these over in here. We'll just stick them in there for now. I need to make a you know one of these types of bins for that. Because that's going to actually be a prod, another product, an input product for um, uh, modular frames, I believe it is. Okay, so let's take this down. But I already had that selected. We're taking this away, that away, and just leaving shit all over the place. That's going to stay there because we use still use that with the awesome sink. Data. Okay. So once again, I'm out of space. Let's put the frames in there. We'll put the sh copper sheeting in there. We'll put the uh, screws in there, but we'll keep one. Uh, let's put a stack of those guys in there too. Okay, I think that, oh, yeah, we got this. Yeah, we no longer need this pole here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a rearranging on the, on our wiring too. Okay. Now, let's, uh, let's do some rearranging of some stuff down here including the power situation. Um, actually, I'm gonna wait on the power. One thing we can do though, is we can take this down and just run that there, get rid of at least a few of these power poles. A couple of them anyway. All right, let's um, make a lookout tower here. And where's the ladder on the, oh, damn it. I hate it when that happens. Okay, ladder is right there. Oh, you know what? Hold on. There's so, I I gotta gotta do something else here. Uh, let's put those plates in there. Oh, we got lots of room in here. We need to empty this that guy out because I'm gonna uh, move all of this stuff here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to fall off the tower. That was planned. I meant to do that. 
And if you'll buy that... Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's try this again. Um, I want to take and put you... Hold on. Dismantle. Okay. Rebuild. Equipment workshop. I want to put you right here, but move you to there. Okay. Take the MAM apart and reset it right in the center there. And we'll take the awesome shop down and reset it right in the center of this tile. Uh, and let's put it right there. Okay. Now we'll tape the hub down. Special the hub. All right. We're going to keep it in the same location uh, forward and backward, but sideways we're going to, we're just going to move it back to the side a little bit. I think that's where I want it, right there. Okay. And uh, that takes care of moving that stuff. <clears throat> all right. Now, I want to... I need to move all of this stuff over. All right. I think I got all this organized. Um, I'm going to actually... Take, let's see, uh, yeah, let's take these with us upstairs. Um, and what we're going to actually do right now is we're going to get into zoop mode. We're going to put some, uh, we're going to build the walls out to here. And this is as far out as the the building, factory building itself is going to come. We can also move that uh, ramp down a little bit too. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Coming through, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get the hell out of my, my base. Okay, put that right there. Um, and uh, let's build you out. No, actually, build you to here. Then you can go up to there, and then you can come across there. And we're going to actually take all of this back out, because that's going to turn into windows. Well, I didn't mean to take that one out. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. So yeah, this is all going to get moved around too. Um, let's do this next. Pick all of that stuff up. And we want to go to architecture, catwalk stairs. And we'll start the stairs. Right there. Um, actually, no. I don't want to do that. Oops. I know that goes into the pillar there, but it's not really a problem. Um, unless, you know what we could do is, let's do this instead, because that's kind of jank A and B. I'm going to start putting some wall sockets up for power, and so having that right up against the wall might cause an issue with that. Okay. So we'll go back to this same uh, thing that we did before. that there. 
Um, let's put foundation in there and zoop those all the way down. And then this needs to go there. And this needs to go here. And we're going to build this wall up too. One, two, four. Okay, that's all. Uh, we'll, we'll do more of that later. Uh, that's all I want to do right at the moment. Okay, good. All right, now what I'm going to do here is we're going to Okay, yeah. We've got some more smart plenty in there. Let's take this apart here. Um I want to turn this merger around. Make sure we're taking the right thing off there. Uh, so that, yeah, so the output's on that side. Did I get that right? Yes, I did. Okay. grab a storage box and we're going to put that right underneath here lined up with that we need to come back one That's right. Okay. And then we're going to put all of our smart plating in here until we get 10, yeah, 10 stacks of these, which will make 500, and that's what we'll need for the elevator. Once we get those, then we'll once again start feeding these into the sink. But we have to build those up, you know, for our, our space elevator launch. All right, good. Now, Next thing we're going to do, we're just going to go back downstairs, and I'm going to take and put a lift here and move that up to the floor. Um, I wonder if I could do what I want to do, like, uh, yeah, like that. Okay, good. That allows us to put that lift in place because you know whereas before I was just kind of doing spaghetti conveyor belts all over the place um, this time we're gonna we're still gonna you know set up temporary um, assembly constructions and switch them around if we need to but we're gonna do it in a little bit neater way this time all right so that should go there that one should go there, that one there, that one there. Good. Okay, let's just take this back out for the moment. Now, uh, the other thing I was thinking about doing, I was thinking about adding another one of these uh, for the copper sheeting that we're producing or will be producing but if I do that then it's gonna stick out into this row and I'm trying to keep you know the the border rows clear so that means we would need to slide everything over a bit Um, and actually, I might want to slide this whole 
kit and caboodle all the way back to the wall anyway. I think I do want to do that, actually. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut the camera because this is going to take a little, a little bit of time and a little bit of thought uh, to do this the way I want it to. But I'm basically going to take this whole collection of storage bins and I'm going to move them... back up against this wall um, so so it'll start in in this actually this corner here is where the first one will be because again we want to always keep the outside tiles as clear as we can and also in that process I'm gonna add another at least one more storage stack for copper sheeting so when I get that done I'll bring you guys back all right, guys, I finally have uh, everything moved over here. I guess I need to put a couple more of these guys in. Uh, there, there, and there. And the plan is that when we need these resources for our our little temporary assembler setups, we'll just you know run up through the th through the ceiling. Um, instead of making a spaghetti mess. Um, also, I completely cleaned this whole area of the floor up here, and all of the these guys are now being routed underneath. That's the concrete that's coming in there, and then every, everything else that was up above here, I've put underneath to clear this floor because I think I'm going to put on this floor... I think I'm going to build a very large, well, not a very large, but a large um, screw production line to support um, the assemblers up above. So basically the, the end products of this factory are going to be rotors, frames, and um, reinforced plate. Um, the, yeah, so that's that's basically the end products of this of this factory, um, and those products are going to be used to build things, to feed into the space um, the space elevator for um, milestones and stuff like that. They're not going to be used for for feeding a bigger production line because when we do the larger production lines, we'll we'll build in, you know the rotors and the reinforced plates and whatever else you know the, they need if that makes sense uh, okay so yeah all this stuff is moved now we are going to make one more set here for copper plating so let's just get the let's get the uh, storage bins in place for that first which is pretty easy to do just pop those there and those there okay um, the input of this particular one, however, I'm probably going to run along the ceiling and drop it down through here. Because I think we're going to put our copper plate production line up in this corner up above. So... Um, before we get started with that, though, I need to fix this issue. So what we're going to do here is... Let's take all of this down. Oh, that guy almost ran me over. How rude. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to grab um, two meter foundations and we're going to create a little platform here. Okay, let's go to architecture, small pillar support. And we'll put that there. We'll go to small concrete. Put that there. All right. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our ramp, uh, our two meter double ramp here. And we're going to bring that down like so and this down like so. so we're basically going to go up sideways instead of straight in. Um, you know, so that way it's not sticking out so far. Okay. This needs to be zooped up to there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into architecture, grab rails, and rail this guy up. And same thing on this side. I know that's a little, little odd, but... And, uh, looks weird yeah let's just go with that I think that works okay good got that part done that was easy um, all right now let's go up here and we're going to that up to there and we'll put the we'll put the windows in later Okay, um, I'm not exactly entirely sure what I'm going to do with this front end yet. So let's, let's for now, let's just put some rails here. Because uh, I don't want OSHA coming around and giving me grief for not having rails. It is kind of a long drop down there. Okay, so that gets the walls in. We'll worry about the roof and the glass and all that later. But I wanted to get this upper floor enclosed, especially in this corner where we're going to build. So we're going to grab this grommet here, and we're going to bring it all the way to here. And we're going to grab a refiner. that in there. Grab a lift. Okay, now I want to remove this. And let's jump down here. All right, so this is lined up right there. Let's jump down here for this. Okay, so I'll take that out too. Now we're going to grab a lift and we're going to bring it all the way down through here to there. And we're going to take that off. We're going to put a splitter on here with the input on, yeah, on that side and another splitter here. Let's... 
We might need to temporarily put a... a foundation down here. Here, let's do this again for a second. Okay, if we grab a four meter and put it on the global, now we should be able to, here, let's do two. Now we should be able to make this work. Okay. Um, splitter input on that side. Oops. Okay. And we're going to need to put a little belt in here too. quite line up right. We are right over the seam here. Oh, that's where we need to be. No, we're one over we're over one too far. this way. Let's do this again. Now just go over one... Yeah, that's the right way. One... I think that's right. No. This is really being a pain in the ass. All right, well, you know what? We don't actually need a splitter here anyways. What we can do instead is just this. There. That'll work. Okay. So, um... Let's get this out of here. I think... I think I adjusted... Yes. Uh, the, the copper uh, miner that's way out there, I had originally underclocked it, but I put it back to normal speed when we started making the copper sheeting earlier and I had all the you know, all the jank stuff set up over there. Uh, we'll, we'll be putting rails all along here, too, but I'm, I'll do that later. All right, let's come back over here and get this filled back in. And we're looking good up there. Okay, go back upstairs. you to do copper okay so you're gonna do 30 per minute um let me look at something here For copper sheeting you need 20 ingots per minute okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna going to borrow some of the ore from this because this is this one's underclocked quite a bit um, and it's, you know, it keeps shutting down because it's all backed up right at the moment. So what I'm going to do here is let's, let's grab a conveyor pole and just bring that up to there so we're, we know where the line is because we're going to move all of this stuff forward and put a, uh, a merger here.
Okay, yeah, so let's take this down. Um, and you're, what are you doing? You're making wire at two, six, six, seven per minute. Okay. All right, let's put you here. And I want to put the splitter over on this side. Right, okay. So, put you there, and I think, yeah, right there. take and put a merger here with the output going that way okay We're going to be 3.333 short. And I think I'm going to just let that happen. Rather than try and... Uh, rather than try and overclock it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's just... Put that back up to full capacity. All right, and then um, I'm go here. Bring that down there. Bring that down there. Okay, grab a constructor. So you're making wire at 2.667, I think it was. No, what was that again? 26667. No. Sorry. Two, six. I was going to say, what the hell, man? Why isn't that working? There we go. Two, six, 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 seven. Okay. Let's put a pole right here. That's good. Okay. So this is actually going to feed, it's going to try and feed 15 into here, uh, which is going to be a little too much, but that's all right. Like I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. And so this is going to feed 45 or in total, because it do, it's doing 30 here and it's got another 15 coming into the merger. So it's going to be a total of 45. Um, which means we could actually overclock our, our plates because we're going to do two plate constructors. Um, but let's get, let's get this back hooked up here first. Guess we didn't even really need that there at all. Except for it is kind of, I guess it is kind of realistic. For supporting the the belt. Let's 
Let's line it up with this one here, just for the hell of it. Okay. All right, so we got that back in business. So we're bringing 60 copper in down below, 30's going into here, 30's going into here. This is splitting 15 off over to here. And uh, it's overfeeding this one by just a little bit. But again, I don't really care. It's it's not gonna hurt anything. I never have been able to, to get my my power levels stable since since we built the second floor and I haven't never figured out what it was and honestly I'm just not gonna worry about it. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to put up two constructors for uh, making copper plate. So I think the way we're going to do that is... Oh, okay, hold on. Let me think about this. We should probably put a splitter on the merger. Can we do that? Well, actually, yeah, we can. We can put it on the merger. <laughs> but that's not what we want to do. <clears throat> okay. So let's grab a splitter here. And line it up with that, but then let's move it over here. Okay, we'll put a belt. Oh, nope. Yeah, put a belt in there. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, take this and put it down here, grab our first constructor, do the usual. We are um, not doing a very good job of leaving a, uh, a full tile though around there, which is we kind of encroached on it a little bit up there too. Uh, Well, the only way I, I'm going to... We'd, we'd have to slide this whole entire setup over this way. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I, I feel up to that. So all of this shit's going to have to be moved. Um... I'm just going to keep going with it as it is, and we'll see how much it bugs me later. If it bugs me too much later, I'll move it off camera. Because that's just going to take too damn long. Uh, uh, right. Okay. So we want to set you to copper sheets. And... You're, you're going to be getting a total of 40, 45, so we could we could either overclock this to 22 uh, or 12.5 per minute. Gosh, I don't know if I don't want to know if I want to burn two slugs on that though. I think I'm going to just let it overfeed it a little bit and not worry about it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's grab and. Put a lift on you, and I'm just going to stick that up in the air for the moment. We're not going to do anything with it quite yet. I just want it there for reference. All right, now let's grab the second constructor, and I'm going to line it up with you. But we need to move it forward to, I'd say, about there. Okay, let's 
put you here and you there. And that gives us a nice clean 90 degree coming out of that splitter. And you also are going to make copper sheeting too. And you know we could we could downclock this a little bit to compensate, but but all we're doing then is just pushing the the back up back to the ore refiner, unless we also went all the back way back to the refiner and adjusted that, which I guess we could theoretically do. But I, I don't want to get that complicated with this. I, I just don't. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to um, finish up this factory so we can move on to steel and the bigger stuff. Now one thing we could do here um tell you what let's go grab some silica and put a couple windows in because I want to look at something. Architecture walls these are our new windows that requires plate and silica. Okay. Let's grab... Oh, no, it's not in there. It's in here. Let's grab a couple more of those. All right. So what I'm probably going to do here, I'm not going to do this now because it's going to take a while, but I'm going to replace all of these standing power poles, at least on the, um, on the borders here with wall sockets. I need to redo all these power poles too. There's so much... So much to do. I'll tell you what, yeah, there's there's just absolutely no way I'm going to get everything done that I wanted to, to do in this episode. So let's just finish out the copper plating and then we'll probably just have to do the rest of it in the next episode. But I want to get this I want to get this going because we need it in place for setting up the assemblers later. All right, so let's see. We, uh, oh, that's right, we were going to work on power. You know, um, okay, let's go to power and grab this wall outlet. Okay, I'm going to put... Yeah, that's straight across. Okay. So let's get right on the seam here. Okay. And then... Next one is right here. We're over one too far. Why don't you let me? Oh, there we go. This one is right about here. I'm going to allow this 
we'll just pretend like there's a conduit going through that wall there. So we're going to be okay with that. Okay, nice. Uh, so we got the copper plating going. Now what we're going to do is... Let's rate, uh, let's go one, two, th three, f three. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay. One, two, three. That should be able to clear that. Okay, now let's get a merger with the in uh, output on this side. And I think again. One, two. Do I... Oh, yeah. Nope. Those still aren't straight. They didn't even come out this way. Output that side. Well, damn it, Jim. Can I not scooch those in further? I can't. Okay. Well, then what we're going to do is we're going to put this one here as... A reference yeah that should be right there we go All right, we gotta lower this one back down. One, two. That looks straight, and it looks good. Okay, so we're merging both of those guys into there. You know, we could. We're actually going to go under the floor anyway on this, now that I think about it. So yeah, let's let's not do this. Let's let's go under the floor. Um, let's put these in place while we have the markers. Get rid of all that stuff. Put a splitter on this one. And the merger on this one. With the output going that way. There we go. That was easier. Oh, 
Okay. Now, let's go... Let's go downstairs. And we want to go... We need to get into here. That's what we got to do. So... But I want... I want the, the, the fill direction of this stack to be the same as the as those. So we have to drop it down and feed it in through here. Okay, let's bring that out to... Whoops, try that again. Bring that out to there. Take this all the way up to the ceiling to there. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. We're going to call that one okay. Right, let's come back to here. Right to there. No, I didn't I didn't do that right, obviously. Alright, so that that's lined up with that. One, two. That honestly needs to go back more than two. Um, let's try there. Yeah, okay. That's correct. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think... I think it wasn't actually the, the normal two because of these were both going the same direction. Had that been turned crossways, then the rule of two would have still applied. So I think that's what happened there. Okay, good. So that'll get the copper plate fed into that bin there, and it's already well on its way. Okay, so what's coming up is I'll, I'll just kind of give you a quick rundown of, of what's what's going to happen next or what needs to happen next. We're going to um, let's get up on our tower here. Okay, I'm going to neaten up the wiring uh, because these are not all uh exactly you know straight and when we get to the building then we're going to utilize um power sockets along the walls kind of like what we did over there um i'm gonna take and set up three assemblers and they're gonna be roughly This isn't the exact position that they're going to be in, but they're going to be roughly in these three spots here. That power pole will be moved. One of them I'm going to set to make reinforced plate. One of them I'm going to set to make uh, our structured frames, which takes reinforced plate as one of its inputs. And one of them I'm going to make our copper uh, to make our copper rotors. And 
so these three machines will be the ones that will make the end products of these factories. And our little grommets that we put in over there is how we'll, you know, I'll route that in so everything is nice and neat and looks good. Um, and when that is finished, then that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, all I have planned for this factory in terms of producing anything. Then what we'll do is we'll in, enclose our building here. I'm going to do some more trim work uh, along the exterior uh, of the structure, put the windows in, figure out what I'm going to do kind of with this front section here. And when that's done, I think we'll be finished at this factory. And then it'll be time for us to move down south and start setting up our larger factory, which uh, will begin <coughs> with coal, uh, sorry, not with coal, well, yeah, with a big coal plant and with uh, steel, steel production lines. So that is what is coming up. How much of that we'll be able to get done in the next episode remains to be seen. <laughs> um, some things I might, I might do off camera. Yeah, they, I'll, I'll make sure that these are nice and straight. Um, and we'll go from there. So uh, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. See ya.